In this course, we are going to largely be using GitHub because a lot of people are using GitHub. It's where you're going to find all of your open source projects. We are going to want to create a brand new account, or if you already have a GitHub account, make sure you log into that account. We're going to need access to a GitHub account. Now, GitHub is absolutely free. And just so you're aware, moving forward, all of the things that we're going to learn are completely interchangeable with a, a service called GitLab. And we can go to gitlab.com and you could register there and you could use GitLab instead of GitHub. Everything is completely interchangeable. Or if you wanted to, you could also use a service called Bitbucket. I can't remember. Yeah, it's bitbucket.org. And you could do the same thing here. Again, the account is totally free. If you want to pay for extras, you can. You can pay for extra features, but you don't need to. All three of these services are totally free. So I'm going to be using GitHub and I'm just going to sign into GitHub. I already have an account, so I don't need to sign up. But for you, if you don't have an account, make sure you create one. You'll need your username, email address, and your password. Verify the puzzle. So basically just flip this around or whatever that CAPTCHA is going to be. Select your plan, make sure it's just a free plan. You do not need to pay for anything. And once you have an account, make sure you sign in. And I'm just gonna sign into mine. Okay, so I just signed into my account. You can see I already have a bunch of stuff going on. Your feed might be a lot more empty. If, you're, if you have a brand new account, there's not going to be a lot going on here. All you need is to make sure you have that account and make sure you were logged in in order to get to that next step. Once again, if you know about GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket and you have a preference, you can use any of the other services. These are the three big ones here. GitHub is the brand name out there. GitLab is more for private use. A lot of businesses are using GitLab because it comes with a few nicer features that GitHub makes you pay for as a corporation, not as an individual. And there's also Bitbucket, which is sort of the lesser known Git service, but it's also a really good service. My preference is always GitHub, especially if you're trying to build a portfolio out there. If you're trying to build a portfolio, you can see down in my profile here, we can see all my different commits. So uh, during the summer of last year, I didn't use GitHub very much. And you can see starting in December, it picked up. So for example, I've got 21 contributions on December 23rd, 2019. And what's nice about this is any future employer that's going to be looking to possibly hire you as a developer, they are going to want to see your GitHub account. They don't care too much about your portfolio or if your websites look beautiful. They want to see your code. And this is the perfect place to highlight your code. So once again, just make sure you have a GitHub account, GitLab account, or a Bitbucket account. I'm going to be using GitHub. So if you're brand new, this is going to be easier to follow with GitHub. So go ahead, get that started, and I'll see you in the next lesson.